seven years ago in secondary school. I wasn't very sociable. I don't really have a lot of friends and I was just alone most of the time. I just felt like, what if I could become another character? What if I could become someone that's like more empowering than me, more stronger than me, and show others a different side of me? Wouldn't that be great? My name is Kai and I'm 21 years old this year. I enjoy making things. I mean, I always tell people that I'm a crafter first before I tell them that I'm a cosplayer. Game character designs, game concepts, they are artworks by itself. It's like bringing a 2D artwork into a 3D artwork, where I'm able to bring things from 2D into 3D with my own hands. The feeling is just very satisfying. And when I wear it to events, it's like showing the artwork to everyone. That's like painting, crafting. It's a pretty unique form of art. This is Eva Foam, which is basically camping mats, which I get from NTUC FairPrice Extra. Personally, I find that foam is really good to work with because it's flexible and soft. It makes it a very effective material to make armor which has lots of curves and angles. Is this the glue that we see? Yes. I used to need to show my iced tea to buy it. Because last time I buy it, I buy in like 5-6 cans one. Then they would be like, why you buy so much? What, what are you going to do with it? Top side ever. So many tea beans. Right? just fold to go. Keep <laughs> is my brother. You see, we look alike. Yeah, everyone says that. We are yeah. <laughs> We started off as giving buddies. Uh. He got inspired by cosplay and crafting, so I ended up teaching him. Uh. He's not just a mentor. Uh. He's a good friend. Our, our synergy is quite good, I would say. I've done about 10 League of Legends cosplays. My first League of Legends cosplay is Kha'Zix. This hit is actually a fake hit and it's hollow. Because of the nature of this costume, it is pretty hot. So I would like put a portable fan inside the head so I'll feel like really comfortable. Galactic Azir is my favorite LR champion as well as my favorite costume because I really, really love the color composition. I learned a lot of new painting techniques while painting Azir. And my latest one is Kane. When I first saw Kane, I was like, oh my god, that is the character that will suit me. Personally, I really like characters that are like grim and dark with armor. Yeah, so I felt that Kim was like the perfect character that I would want to do. You really, really need to have strong feels and passion for that character itself. After completing the armor, when I wear it, there's, there's this sense of empowerment. Like, like, you just feel like the character, you know. It is what keeps you wanting to bring that character to life. I want to keep on learning new things. The more I craft, the better costumes that I can make. I feel like as I'm crafting, I'm slowly leveling up. As I level up in terms of technical skills, I'm also making more friends when I go to events. And these kind of things are what motivates me to continue cosplaying. Encouragement from my friends and family is like really important to me. Initially, seven years back, my parents didn't actually support me. They couldn't understand what I was doing. When I started to craft and they started to see that I'm putting in more effort and more craftsmanship into my costumes, they also started to see that it's like a form of art. And when they see me on stage doing my performance, I think that they know that I'm doing something meaningful. Cosplay has definitely changed me. Seven years back, I didn't really have a lot of friends, but ever since I stepped into the cosplay circle, I've known a lot of people who share the same interests both locally and internationally. My confidence has definitely grown. Always believe in what you do. You'll just get better and better.